Toyota's got themselves a problem, a couple of problems with the 2024 Tacoma. This thing is supposedly out now, at least in allocation form. You can go out to different dealerships and you can see they're listing them on the websites. And that's where the problem begins. I think that Toyota might be alienating some of us previous Tacoma owners, the real Toyota Tacoma fan base. And I'm talking about in the form of pricing and availability. Let's throw that in there as well. But pricing is the big driver. You know, I've put many videos out talking about pricing, showing pricing, even some guesses at pricing, which by the way, the first one was wrong, I admit it. Uh, bad information. But anyway, you know, we fans out there, we're the ones that really support the Toyota Tacoma, aren't we? I mean, we buy it, we mod it, and then we trade it in and we start the whole process over again. Maybe we buy the next trim level or maybe even the same trim level, who knows? I've had many of them myself. But now with Toyota's new pricing structure and method for selling the truck, it seems, they've, uh, they've kind of cut some of us out for what we're willing to spend. And I wanna stress again, this is not about your financial or my financial capability. It's about what makes sense. It's about value, you know? Once Toyota has exceeded a certain amount, for me, it's 50 grand, maybe even a little bit less. I start to question the value of spending that much money versus what I'm getting in the new Tacoma, particularly in the form of upgrades and things like that. Because honestly, what we're really getting, and some people would say a few of these are downgrades, is a redesigned look, a different looking truck. For me, I'm not a big fan of the cap that kind of looks like it sits over the cabin. Um, it looks like a hat almost that they've put on, and I know why they did it. They did it to give us more headroom, but I mean, I don't really need more headroom. So for me, it's not an advantage. The lines of the truck, I don't really have a big problem with it. I think they stayed true enough with the way that the Tacoma has looked traditionally uh, that it's just fine. No real issues with that. Uh, other things, I mean, the radio, the setup inside, I mean, so what? It's different. I don't know that I would say that it's better. And different doesn't always mean better, right? I would argue that I'm familiar with what Toyota has been doing for the last, I don't know, 10 years, whatever it's been on this third gen model, that it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for me when I get the new truck. And I will get the new truck eventually. So let's make that clear right away. Don't get me wrong. But it depends on which model as far as pricing goes. Back to pricing again for me. I said I wouldn't exceed 50. I won't exceed 50. To me, there's just not enough value in this new truck to spend that kind of money. It just really does not make a whole heck of a lot of sense to me to do that. Now, allocations. You know, you hear all kinds of rumors on the internet, and one of the big ones out there is that Toyota has adopted a more uh, allocated uh, approach when it comes to distributing or making available their trucks. In other words, they're building what they think people want, and sometimes they're very wrong, but build, building only what people want as far as the numbers and models go. And then they're making those available on a list and allocation to the dealerships. Now, that hasn't really changed. I mean, dealerships always get and have gotten a list of allocated trucks that are coming to them, but there's no inventory. Now, that might be because of the way the world has been lately and people are snack, snapping them up quicker. But one of the big uh, theories that I've heard on the internet, you know the internet's always right, is that Toyota is producing less numbers, fewer numbers of Tacomas. That means that you kind of have to take uh, what you can get. You don't have any choices. The days of walking the lots and looking at all the Tacomas lined up seem to be gone, although, if pricing really is a big concern, and this is where it's really going to, to show if it's true or not, you will see rows of Tacomas on dealer lots because if people aren't willing to shell out the money that Toyota is asking, they're not gonna buy them. There's gonna be a lot more to choose from on the lots, although you're still gonna have to spend money. There is a silver lining to that though. If it does go that way, dealerships are not gonna sit on the trucks forever. 
they're going to have to come up with incentives as far as price reductions, lower financing rates, things like that. You remember several years ago when you could buy a car or a truck at 0% interest? That's right, I remember those days. I'd done it myself a few times. If you have to finance, there's no better way than to buy a truck than at 0% interest. You're just paying for the truck. I like that. We may see that again in the future if we do start to see numbers increase as far as how many trucks are actually sitting on the lots. Now, disenfranchising the existing fan base seems to be true as far as the engine that they're putting in these trucks. They're putting a four-cylinder, I'm sure you know this, they're putting a four-cylinder turbo engine. A four-cylinder in a Tacoma? I mean, I'd, I'd like to see an eight-cylinder in the Tacoma, so they've, they've given me half of what I would really love to see. And then they throw the turbo in there. Now, there's pluses and minuses to the turbo. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are very skeptical as to how long a turbo is going to last. Is it gonna be a 300,000, half million mile truck? Or is the Tacoma becoming more of a throwaway truck? In other words, you drive it to, I don't know, maybe 100,000 miles, maybe less, and then trade it off for the next, next one, excuse me, because you're afraid that that turbo is gonna go. And it may, time will tell, we don't know yet. You know, there's a lot of guesswork going on out there about how well this turbo is going to last. You have to give Toyota some credit. I mean, they do have what I'm assuming are some of the top engineers in the world. I mean, they are a well-known big company and I'm sure they hire the best. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of credit there myself in, in that these turbo motors or engines that they're coming out with are going to be as durable as what Toyota's reputation demands. Because in the end, that's all they really have to go on, right? Quality and reputation. We shall see. Power-wise, you know, it's going to be comparable. I mean, today's engines compared to 20 years ago, yeah, they're going to it's going to be better, you know, than a 19 I don't know, 91 Toyota Tacoma, let's say, when it comes to power and acceleration. That should make it fun. It should be fun to drive. Hopefully it's not like the Ford Ranger. You know, I test drove a, a new Ford Ranger when they first went to the four cylinder engine and it was a dog. It spooled out, it was a turbo by the way. It spooled out and then that was it, it was done. And it was kind of lame after that. I've often mentioned on the channel, the only thing I liked about that Ford Ranger was the thud that the door made when it shut. Nice, crisp, almost sports car kind of sound. I, I dug it, it was pretty cool. So anyway, I think Toyota does have a couple of problems with this new truck. They're alienating the fan base, they're overpricing them, and they seem to be limiting the number of them that are gonna be available. We shall see, time will tell. We could all be wrong, people love it, they're willing to shell out. 50, 60,000 dollars for a Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment, let me know. Do you feel like Toyota is fleecing us a little bit when it comes to pricing on these new trucks? Do you feel disenfranchised with the Toyota Tacoma brand? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.